Well, Antoinette and Jessica, according to court documents, the defendant told police in an interview after yesterday's crash that his foot got stuck on the accelerator and that he couldn't stop, resulting in his SUV slamming into the Apple store, killing one person and injuring 20 others. Now, that defendant, 53-year-old Bradley Ryan, was brought here to Hingham District Court just before 9 this morning, where he was charged with reckless homicide by motor vehicle and reckless operation of a motor vehicle. A witness told police she estimated the SUV was going 60 miles per hour when it slammed into to the Apple store around 1045 yesterday morning. According to prosecutors, when Ryan was interviewed by police after that crash, he denied consuming any alcohol or drugs that day, saying that he was at the Derby Street shops to replace a lens in his eyeglasses when his foot got stuck in that accelerator. He agreed to, to take a preliminary breath test, which registered a reading of zero, and he allowed investigators to search his cellular phone, and he consented to a voluntary blood draw. Though the outcome of this accident was horrific, and I don't want to downplay that, it was just that it wasn't an accident. In a situation like this, we have a responsibility to make sure we check the, check the operator, to check the vehicle. That's ongoing right now. Uh, and I think from the own statements that you heard, and that is that allegedly the foot was stuck on the accelerator. Um, we'll look into that also. Now, prosecutors told the judge that while Ryan has no criminal record here in Massachusetts, he was charged with DUI in Vermont back in 2020, although that was later expunged. The judge ordered bail to be set at $100,000 cash and that Ryan is not to drive a vehicle. The prosecution also telling the judge that there is no evidence Ryan had any connection to the Apple store in Hingham or anyone that works there. Reporting live in Hingham this afternoon, Matt Reed, WCVB News Center 5.